We're also celebrating the return of astronaut Jeanette Epps. Not quite to Syracuse, but at least back here on planet Earth after eight months in space. From liftoff to splashdown, News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan tracking her journey and shows us the incredible images of her early morning return. This streak in the night sky is the SpaceX Dragon Endeavor re-entering Earth's atmosphere. The capsule barreling through 3,000 degree temperatures. Parachutes slow it down to 15 miles per hour for a soft splash into the Gulf of Mexico. And splash down. A recovery boat waiting to lift the capsule. The wear and tear evident. NASA uses the term toasted marshmallow to describe a spacecraft that's gone through a superheated re-entry. Dragon, welcome aboard the recovery vessel Megan. Recovery personnel are completing their final checks. Then the crew emerges. Jeanette Epps, the third of four, out, each needing help to stand on their own, burdened by gravity for the first time in eight months. Epps demonstrated what life was like in space when we spoke with her from the International Space Station over the summer. There's somebody doing something back there. Well, those are my colleagues <laughs> having a little bit of fun. Well, actually, he's, he's really working. We were there when Epps and her crewmates launched from the Kennedy Space Center on March 4th. Headed for a six-month stay on the ISS. From liftoff to splash down, her home community has been watching. Now Jeanette Epps is back on the ground, but little girls will be looking up to her forever. From Florida, NASA flew the crew to their home base, the Johnson Space Center in Texas. Epps will get some time to see family and friends, but not travel for months as doctors closely watch her health as she reacclimates to Earth. The restrictions means she won't be back in Syracuse until sometime next year. Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Andrew up pretty early for that. We did just get new information from NASA who says one of the four astronauts experienced a, quote, medical issue soon after splashdown and had to be flown to a Florida hospital out of, quote, an abundance of caution and remains there. NASA is not saying, for privacy reasons, which astronaut. The other three, they say, are now in Houston at the Johnson Space Center.